Hey guys, it's Shoto, but feel free to call me whatever you want. And I am so excited to bring you guys this video because I have just received a package in the mail. And if you read the title of this video, then you already know what's going on here. So let's get right into this unboxing without any further ado. So right off the hop here, we have the box that it came in. If I can open a parcel, that would be great. Oh, and I'm opening it upside down because of course I would. Why wouldn't I do that? Let's see. And here it is. Oh, this is a nice box. Very sleek. I like it. It's very smooth. It's very professional looking. This is kind of scary. <laughs> it's got some stickers on the side, keeping it nice and secure. Let's see if I can get those off. Okay, here we go. Oh, that looks nice. Off the bat, here's the tablet at the very top. Set that aside for now. Here is the pen. It is battery free. It has two buttons on it. It, it has grip around where you hold it. It feels very nice, very nice texture. In here, we have the setup instructions and it comes with a, a drawing glove. I have notoriously small hands, so I'm not sure if this is going to fit or not, but I hope it does because I've always really wanted a drawing glove. So we're gonna see how that goes. And it actually fits. It's slightly loose, in fact, but I mean, that's not much of a surprise. But it fits, and I am I'm very excited about that. Moving on, we have whatever this is. Well, it's a cord, obviously, but I am not sure what it goes to. I assume this will be how to connect it to the laptop. This appears to be connecting it to power so that it works. I don't know how this works. Oh, there it goes. Okay. That's pretty cool. So this will be its power cord. And it comes with a stand for the pen. I believe it has a other replacement nibs in here. It does, in fact, have one, two, three, four, five, six, eight replacement nibs. And the bottom of the stand is where you go to take them out. And I believe that is all we have in here. So I almost completely forgot to review the most important part of this unboxing. I have never done this before. I don't know if you can tell. And here it is. Oh, that looks very nice. Very sleek. It's much bigger than my old tablet. There's, I'm not sure what these buttons on the side are for. I suppose these are for turning it on and off. Um, these buttons are, I think they're customizable, but I'm not sure. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buttons on the side. And it has this peel cover. Oh, that is satisfying. It has a very nice anti-glare screen that is 
that is something that I was very much looking forward to. Very pretty. I really like this. I assume these here are for power and connecting to my computer. But I am going to go and set this up and then we're going to get right into the speed paint. So right off the bat, I noticed that there were a lot of cords. However, I realized that this is probably pretty normal for screen tablets and it's just something that I'm not used to yet because I'm used to having a tablet that doesn't have a screen and only has one cord, but that did come with things to kind of keep them contained. So they're not a complete disaster. They're pretty clean, all things considered. They do all need to be plugged in, which is something that I realized after a few minutes of struggling and wondering why it wasn't working. That that's just because I'm dumb. You know, that's just how I am. <laughs> I had to uninstall my old driver, which is to be expected. I've learned that it's pretty normal for drivers to be uncompatible with other drivers that may be previously installed. It is relatively small for a screen tablet, but it is much bigger than my old tablet. And for me, a smaller workspace tends to do better. I'm just generally better with smaller movements. It took a while to adjust the colors. I had to do a lot of fiddling beforehand to make it resemble my laptop screen, which is something that I was expecting to have to do, but it did take a while. And it's not quite perfect, but it's close enough that I do feel comfortable working with it. All buttons on the tablet and on the pen are completely programmable, which is very useful. And I can adjust them and see which ones need to be changed and which ones I use more often. The cursor is slightly off of the pen tip, so it's not directly in line. And it's, it's not terrible, but it will take some getting used to and adjusting. It is very easy to use and it feels very natural. It's a mix of how it feels to draw on paper with the smoothness of drawing on a tablet. And it will likely worsen my habit of trying to undo on pencil sketches on paper. <laughs> it is very smooth, there is no lag, it works like a charm very cleanly. It is very smooth and sleek and lightweight for its size. The glove is very comfortable. I actually kept forgetting to take it off like when I went to go up for dinner or <laughs> when I was editing this video even. I kept editing with the glove on because I just forgot I was wearing it. It's so comfortable. Overall, it's a great and beautiful product and I am very happy to have it as my first screen tablet.